Hi, everyone. So the next topic is data frame. So data frame is a set of equal sized vectors, for example, gender, weight, and height of four patients. So this is a spreadsheet in short. And the spreadsheet includes the some um, vectors with different types. Um, matrix should, should be the all numbers or all characters or all factors. But the, in data frame, the each column have different meaning. So sometimes everything is numeric, but the sometimes the some columns are characters or factors. So it's convenient to deal with usual data sets such as some column um, including num uh, uh, letters and uh, some columns including numbers. Okay, so we go to the R console there to see some examples. So, okay, so think about the um, four patients data. First column is gender. Okay, so for now that we define this vector as just character vector, male, female, male, female. So the first and the third patients are male and second and fourth are female. And we define height. This is just numeric vector so with the same number of elements, maybe in centimeter. And weight in kilogram. Yeah, so in US, the data sets, the sometimes uh, some people are confused about the unit. So the height is reported as inch. So typically that is, you know, 60 or 70, but the sometimes even it should be reported in inch, the still the sum numbers are 175 or 180. So it's important to clean the data that before we do statistical analysis. The weight, it's the same thing. So the pound and the kilogram, sometimes the day, um, they are confused and use other reported numbers in a different unit. Okay, so uh, suppose we have these three vectors, then we can combine columns and you can use the data frame function that to combine these three. Maybe cbind function works. cbind function uh, is a little uh, vague. So um, if all columns are numbers, then cbind that makes a matrix, but the um, cbind may make um, data frame. So here, the, obviously this should be data frame. So the, I specifically the mention this, we declare that this as data frame. So these are data frame. So these, this. Yeah. So gender, height, and weight. So usual, the spreadsheet. And if you type, uh, if you want to access the specific column of this uh, data frame, the, you can access by using the dollar symbol. So it's similar to matrix. It looks like, almost like a matrix, right? So we have name for the first column. So you can just specify the name of the column to access to this. And the dollar sign gender, the male, female, male, female. Hmm. Um, in the past, the um, if we make a data frame, um, the, then all character vectors are recognized, just forced into factor vectors. But here, actually, that we recognize the character vector. So the, if you want to define the factor vector, you have to make it as factor. So um, maybe if you want to make it as factor vector, D gender is as factor, D gender again, or even original gender vector. Then these, this looks like the same, but if we type D gender, it becomes a factor vector. 
And data frame, also it looks like a matrix, so we can use the same uh, notation, uh, D sub two two, D bra bracket two comma two to access to two two element. So the, this is the um, second row, second column. So the 160 is extracted by this command, so D bracket two two. So there are two very convenient function that to extract the, uh, some um, extract an overview of the object, the data frame D. So one is the structure of D. So if you type this, then it reports the how many observations there are, and also the how many variables there are, and the also, it lists all objects and the, also the property of these objects. So gender is a factor vector and the others are numeric vector. And the factor vector have two levels, female and male. And another convenient one is head function. So this basically, um, extract the first six rows of this data frame. So usually data set is large. Uh, we may have thousands of observations. So to see first six rows is convenient to see the overall structure, how data look, looks like. If you specify number, then we can pick up the specific number of rows. So we have the three rows. Uh, we have four rows, but if you specify three, then you can uh, extract just first three lines. Default is six. So this is the basic thing about data frame. And I would like to mention that the data frame is a special case of list. So it looks like a matrix, but it cannot be matrix because the, these categories are different. So this is the factor and numeric and the numeric. So are actually recognize this D as a list. And the first object of the object inside this D is gender vector. And the second object is height vector. And third object is weight vector. But just R shows this in, you know, split sheet form. So it looks like a matrix. So D is actually a list. So so in that, with that understanding, we can easily understand the D dollar sign gender, they extract all the information, uh, the uh, dollar sign height of three returns 182. So this is how data frame works. And if you type D is defined by edit D. This is a kind of very the, uh, weird uh, code. We define D as edit of D. Um, if we type this, then you can actually change this in a spreadsheet. So for example, we can change this 174 into 199, then you can do this way. Oh, um, I think it's canceled. Okay, so once more. Then you can see the um, D is has been changed. 